YouTube, thanks for joining in. So basically all I'm doing here in this video is I'm going to do a couple quick things to my Neelys. This is the Gen 1 in Neelys. Um, I know there's a Gen 2. So I all I'm going to do is add a voltage a readout. Add a, literally add some rubber feet at the bottom so this thing stops sliding around on my workbench. And then the last thing is I'll, I'll end up painting it black. Um, so really straightforward video. Uh, I will go ahead and let this run and then I'll join you guys back when I am running some cases. Uh, and then add a couple commentary on, on the setup in general um, when I first got it. it would have helped me if I would have saw a couple videos. I know there's a lot of people that have videos on this, but I, I wanted to show a couple different views on, on the annealing when it actually is annealing because I think it really would help um, when I was setting this thing up. But no big deal. All right. Enjoy. All right, YouTube, here I go again. So all here I'm doing is fitting in the display. I put some grease around to make it easy to push in. The other thing I'll note here is when you get to the back, when you're actually doing the three wires that will go into the three different terminals, I'll put it in the description which ones I'm connecting. The one thing I'll just say is it's easier for you not to take out the wires that are in there and just thread in the three new ones you're putting in. So that's just a quick tip. Uh, it was a lot easier than actually trying to take it out. All right, here we go towards the end. So I, I loaded up 50 uh, 6BR cases and I'll set the voltage correctly. It ends up being about, you'll see towards the end of the video, about 5.8 is, or 5.7 is where the sheet spot is. It ends up being about, I wanna say seven seconds. And the only way I do this, I, I just pretty much tell myself, just look for it to turn, you know, right, obviously right before, right before it turns orange. So even a second or so before that, and that's pretty much all I've been doing on 6.5 Creamore and 25 Creamore when I was doing those VR cases. Sorry, those cases. For 6 VR, the one thing you'll, you, you will realize is it is shorter, obviously. So the wheels, sometimes you will catch the wheels if you're not um, checking the, where the torch is pointed. So that's all I'm doing here is adjusting the torch to make sure it's going away and not into. And that's what you see me looking in there. Um, so really straightforward video here uh you know i'll show it towards the end um the feet that i put you'll see me adjust the the voltage so you can guys see how it affects it but this is obviously in regular motion i'm sorry i'm not fast forwarding here so this is 5.7 this way 5.7 looks um 5.8 etc etc anyway thank you for joining if you do if you like this video please give me that thumbs up please subscribe i'm trying to get 200 subscribers by the end of may so any, uh, any additional subscribers is awesome. It really would help out. All right, have a good day and thanks for joining.